Tony Khan reveals premiere date for weekly Ring of Honor television and announces that Mark Briscoe is all elite. Plus, he also addresses whether or not Brian Danielson could take part in New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1. And he also talks about the possibility of bringing in Kota Ibushi to AEW. Ric Flair says Fox and Netflix are both interested in a Real Housewives of Wrestling show. And we have your AEW Revolution match lineup so far. Hey there everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo and you're watching the latest Let's Get Into Today's News. Mark Briscoe has officially signed with AEW. Following Wednesday's Dynamite, Tony Khan confirmed on Twitter that Briscoe had signed with the company. Khan clarified that Briscoe will wrestle both in AEW and in Ring of Honor. After a television ban by Warner Brothers Discovery was lifted, Mark made his debut on AEW television on the January 25th edition, defeating Jay Lethal. He wrestled for a second time on Wednesday's Dynamite, defeating Josh Woods following a confrontation that aired on last Friday's Rampage. Ring of Honor's new weekly television series has a premiere date. In an interview with SI.com released Wednesday, Ring of Honor owner Tony Khan revealed that the show will debut Thursday, March 2nd, 2023 on Honor Club. The first episode will air exactly one year from the date that Khan announced he purchased the promotion. Khan also confirmed that the first set of tapings will take place Saturday, February 25th and Sunday, February 26th from Universal Studios in Orlando. Tony Khan has also commented on Brian Danielson potentially entering a G1 Climax tournament. The AEW president spoke with the In The Click podcast recently and was asked if he's had discussions with Danielson about taking part in New Japan's annual round robin competition. To which Tony Khan said, quote, I think it would be great in many ways, but Brian Danielson, it's quite possible he could be the AEW world champion. Either way, I think it would be hard for him to disappear from the show, especially if he is the AEW world champion. I'm not sure if he'll be able to get away from the show that much. We'll have to see what happens here coming out of Revolution. Khan also mentioned during the interview that he expects to run a second Forbidden Door pay-per-view this summer. He declined to comment on any potential interest in Jay White, stating that he is still with New Japan Pro Wrestling. However, Khan did talk about the possibility of bringing in Kota Ibushi to AEW, saying, quote, I would love to have Kota Ibushi here. Kota Ibushi has wrestled in Ring of Honor in the past and has a great history wrestling in Japan and in America and is a top free agent and that's somebody we would love to have here if the deal is right and the timing is right. Several matches have been announced for AEW Revolution. After Hangman Page defeated Kip Sabian on Wednesday's Dynamite, Jon Moxley came out and told Hangman that he couldn't beat him. Hangman said he didn't see the feud between them being finished, not until Revolution. The two had a stare down with Mox agreeing to a Texas death match against Hangman on March 5th in San Jose. Additionally, a four-way match for the AEW World Tag Team titles will take place at Revolution. The guns will defend against the acclaimed and two other teams that will be determined in the next couple of weeks on Dynamite. It was also confirmed that Samoa Joe will be defending the TNT Championship against Wardlow. The two have been feuding for months primarily after Samoa Joe defeated Wardlow for the TNT Championship in December and cut off his hair after the match. And of course, the AEW World Championship match between MJF, the current champion, against Brian Danielson in a 60-minute Iron Man match. Moving on to our next story, Ric Flair says a Real Housewives of Wrestling reality show could be in the works. Speaking on an episode of To Be The Man podcast, Ric Flair said that both Netflix and Fox are interested in producing a show featuring his wife, Wendy Barlow, as well as the wives of Randy Orton, Kimberly Kessler, Jake Hager, Catalina White, and Kurt Angle, Giovanna Yanati. Additionally, Flair revealed that Barlow has signed a deal to write a book on her life story with him. The Real Housewives franchise has been running since 2006, beginning with The Real Housewives of Orange County. Since then, 32 different adaptations have been made in total, with 11 from the United States and 21 internationally. About 27 spin-off series featuring former cast members have been made as well. That is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section below, and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Latest.